This Rubik's Cube is two years old. This Rubik's Cube is 10 years old. And this Rubik's Cube is 19 years old. That's right, in front of me, I have a Rubik's Cube from 2005, 19 years ago. Some of you may not have even been alive when this cube came out. How do I know it's from 2005? Well, it says right here. Oh, you can see my phone. Hello. How did I come across this cube? Well, it's pretty simple. I was at my grandma's house one day and I looked under a bed and I found this. Yeah, that's, that's the story of how I got this. I don't know if it's worth anything or if this is just a piece of junk, but I thought it was cool, so I grabbed it. I figured I would just review this cube and see how good it is compared to this normal Rubik's brand from 10 years ago and this uh, top of the line speed cube from two years ago. I mean, this cube is a bit older than two years old, but that's when I bought it, so yeah. Starting with turning on the two-year-old cube, this is a GAN 11M Pro, it's great. Very fast, very smooth, and it's not even at peak. <laughs> it's not even at peak, you know, capabilities because I haven't lubed it in a long time, and it's pretty just tight, but very, very good cube. Now, if we switch over to this Rubik's brand from 2014, it's basic. It's actually turning really well. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. This is not a bad cube, especially considering it's 10 years old. But now for the main event of this video, the 19 year old cube, which by the way, you probably noticed, but it's a 25th anniversary cube of the Rubik's cube, which I don't know why, because the Rubik's cube is made in 1974, but it's 1980 on here, which I guess maybe is when the company was founded. I don't know, but yeah, 25 years. It's got this shiny silver instead of white. But the turning. Oh, did you hear that? That is... Ah! The turning is unbearable, and you can't even open it up to look at it, which I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you can do that to some extent on this cube, and definitely on that cube, but it's unbearable. It's like almost clicking it's it sounds like a roller coaster you know going up the track you know the yeah that's exactly what it sounds like that's crazy obviously it's stickered unlike these two cubes uh because i don't think stickerless cubes existed back in 2005 but uh yeah honestly this is the only one that's peeling it's in really good shape for 19 years old i'm guessing it really was sitting under my grandma's bed for like 19 years that's kind of crazy. So I scrambled up the cube and put the other ones out of the way. And we're just going to see how long it takes me to solve this Rubik's brand from 19 years ago. Let's go, I guess. You can tell I don't make videos that often because this is very awkward. But inspection. Okay, let's just go. All right, got to get the cross. I kind of don't want to speed solve with this. I definitely won't after this just because I don't want to mess up the stickers any more than they already are. Because, I mean, this is, like, old, and this might actually be worth something. It's probably not. Like, 2005 is not really the prime age for stuff being worth money. I'm just going to stop talking because I cannot focus. What time are we at? Because I just started F2L, and we're at 35. That's, like, how long it takes me to solve a normal speed cube. This is horrible. You know, y'all really aren't gonna sit through and watch me solve this entire thing, are you? Is anyone still there? Like, really? I'll probably put a timestamp on screen to skip forward for those who don't want to watch me solve this. But if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate you.
Okay, we're almost done, guys. Can we beat two minutes? Sub two minutes, please, please, please. No, 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 no. So close. Welcome back if you skipped the solve. As you can see, it took me two minutes and three seconds to solve it, which is not very good. I normally average somewhere in the 30s, so yeah, not not good. I suppose this is a review. I am going to say turning is very bad. It is also very loud. But interestingly enough, I feel like it's quieter than the 10-year-old cube, but like just harder to turn, if that makes sense. Beautiful noises, beautiful noises. I am not gonna try and modify this cube to make it faster. That's just not what I do here, and I feel like I would just ruin it even more by trying to do that. But as for the cube itself, it looks cool. I love this design, the 25 years design. That's really sick. It's a literal mirror. It's a literal mirror. But yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what else to say, but if I were to give this cube a number on a scale of one to 10, it would probably be three. Yep, three out of 10 on the 19 year old cube. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on what the world was like in 2005. If you had a computer, you might be using a floppy disk with it. Don't ask me why I have this, but I have this. So, floppy disk. This is an iPhone 4. And this phone came out in 2012, meaning it was still seven years away from coming out. The phone you would have been using was probably either a Blackberry or a Nokia. I think those were pretty big phones back then. Also, if you were using a software or an operating system, my bad, it probably would have been Windows XP. Everyone's favorite operating system, RIP Windows XP, which fun fact, was discontinued the same year this cube came out, in 2014. Interesting. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video, just kind of messing around with and reviewing this cube from 2005. I, it's not the most engaging video, I know. I'm not really used to making videos where I just talk like this with the cubes. Um, if you've been following me on my other channel, you know I upload frequently over there, but I just haven't been doing much lately over here and i'm not as used to that i will be dropping a channel update soon just talking about what's going on and i'm gonna say it right here before i say it over there feedback if you are here at this point still watching this video and you have a good idea for a video drop it in the comments down below one of the main reasons i have not been what not been uploading sorry is because i have just not had ideas so if you have a good idea just make sure it's cubing related and it's not too ridiculously expensive I'll give you a massive shout out if I choose your idea. And I think it'd be fun to just take ideas. I don't care if you're subscribed or not. You should be subscribed, by the way. But if you're not, I don't care. Just leave your ideas. I'd love to hear them. So for real this time, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed or don't. That's totally fine. I don't care. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this video. I will see everyone in the next one. Stay cool out there. It's a hot summer. Enjoy. Bye, guys.